everyone, and welcome back to my work table. Well, kind of. <laughs> so this video is going to be a little bit different. We're actually not at my work table, but we are in my work room. This Christmas, I decided I was going to surprise my husband with a new gift, specifically a desk. As you can see in this video here, his desk was very small. <laughs> And I love doing big grand gestures for Christmas, so I decided I was going to surprise him with a desk. However, it was a bit more of an adventure than I expected. When I first decided I was going to do this, I went on to a bunch of different websites, mostly Facebook, to see if I could find someone selling a desk. I also went to a couple stores like we have an Office Max here and Walmart, you know, that kind of thing. Just seeing if there was something brand new that was within my budget and that I liked. I didn't really find anything that was in stock that I liked, so I just kept an eye out. And then a couple, I want to say like maybe three or four weeks ago, I was on Facebook and I saw a desk for sale and I really liked how it looked. And what was even better was the lady who was selling it actually had the measurements shown not only in the pictures, but also in the description. She was my hero. <laughs> it was the exact perfect size needed for this desk. So I decided, all right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna get this desk. Also, it was 100% within my budget. So I messaged her like, hey, are you still selling this? Is this available? She said, yes. I said, sweet, I wanna buy it. She said, cool. We set up a time and we decided I was gonna do it early afternoon, go pick it up and then bring it home. Well, actually I wasn't gonna bring it home. <laughs> I have a storage unit here and so I decided, perfect. He never goes there, my, my husband. My husband never goes there. I will go hide the desk there. He won't see it. And then I'll just bring it over New Year's Eve or maybe a couple days before and we'll get it all set up. And so I run a couple errands and this was so insane to me. So I left the house and it was really cold, but it wasn't too cold. Uh, well, comparatively, not cold enough to where I was worried about my car. So I went to my first location just fine, and then I decided to go to a convenience store to pick up a couple things, and that was just fine. Car had no issues whatsoever. I go inside, grab the things I want, and I realize, oh hey, I'm done with everything about half an hour before I was supposed to be there. So I decided, hey, I, or I, I decided to message her, and I said, hey, I am done earlier than I planned. Would it be okay if I came by now? And I sat in my car waiting for her to respond. I did not turn my car on at this point. She said, yeah, that's totally fine. I'm like, sweet. I turned the key and nothing happened. It just was clicking rapidly. And if any of you know anything about cars, you probably have an idea of what happened. <laughs> but for some reason, my car just wouldn't turn over. It wasn't even acting like it was going to turn over. It was just rapidly clicking. And so I'm like, oh no. I try again, still nothing. So I'm like, shoot, I have to jump my car. Did I just kill my battery somehow? It was just fine five, 10 minutes ago. It was just fine. Luckily I had jumper cables. So I went inside and I asked one of the ladies at the counter, I'm like, hey, this is weird, but I need help jumping my car. It won't start. Is there anyone that could help me out with that? And with the manager's permission, the employee behind the counter was able to come out and help me. She was gonna be done with work in about half an hour anyway. So it wasn't too bad. So she comes around, we get everything hooked up. I knew what I was doing. I knew how to put on the jumper cables and everything. And so I get it all set up. I looked at my battery and it was not looking good. There was definitely some corrosion stuff, but I brushed off as best as I could and thought, okay, well, that's probably explaining some of my issue, but hopefully this will be enough to at least get me to get the desk and then get home. So we sit there for a bit. I try and turn on the car, nothing, nothing changed. The lights got a little bit brighter, but nothing else changed. I'm like, oh no. I think we sat there for a good 15 minutes and it's still, there's just no change whatsoever. And at that point I'm like, okay, obviously this isn't working. This lady needs to go. I, I already felt bad for imposing on her. So I'm like, okay, I will call my husband and have him see if he can come help. Maybe he'll see something I'm not. Uh, she leaves. I was very grateful for her help. And I call my husband. The big thing was he was on night shift, so I wasn't even sure if he was going to be awake yet. Luckily he was. I didn't wake him up. <laughs> and I called him like, hey, 
I'm stranded. <laughs> My car won't start. I tried jumping it, but the person that was helping me needed to leave. Can you come help me? And so he's like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll come help you. So he, he leaves. Luckily, I was only 10 minutes from home, so it wasn't too bad getting there. He comes around, he pulls up next to my car, we try and jump it again, we connect everything. Still nothing. And he tries a whole bunch of different things, we try cleaning the battery some more. Still nothing. It was at this point we're like, okay, something much worse is going on here. Why isn't this working? So I did some preliminary Google searches and it was either the, uh, if I correct, it was either the alternator or just the battery itself was kaput, which didn't make sense to me, but because it had been working just fine, literally not that, not even 15 minutes before this trouble began. However, we knew it would be cheaper to get a new battery, which was already on its last legs anyway, so we were kind of really hoping, let's just go across the street, grab a battery, and then try again. So we go across the street, luckily they had a battery I needed, and we go back to my car. It was... <laughs> It was a nightmare getting that stupid battery off. And so we tried to wrangle everything off, finally get the battery installed. Voila, my car starts. Hallelujah. <laughs> and so we get everything set up. I quickly messaged. Now at this point, it had been about an hour and a half since I originally said I would be there. And throughout this whole thing, I was texting this lady like, hey, I'm really sorry. I even sent her a picture, which unfortunately I don't have right now, but I sent her a picture of my car with the jumper cables on it. And I'm like, hey, I'm really sorry, but I'm finally able to come by if right now is okay. Beforehand, we were talking about, I, I even told her like, hey, I understand if you don't want to sell this to me anymore because of all this. She's like, do you think you can come by today or do you want to try again tomorrow? She was super nice. So I messaged her like, hey, I'm ready to come over now if you're okay with that. And then and she's like, yep, yeah, let's do it. I'm like, sweet. So I go over to their house. They had already taken it apart into three pieces, as you saw earlier. And thankfully, it was super easy to just throw it into my car. I didn't even turn the car off. I didn't even try. So we threw everything into my car and then I went home. I didn't bother going to the storage unit. I decided, you know what, let's just go home. I'll deal with it later. It was already dark and cold. And then I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay. Over the next few days, I'm thinking, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna set this up without him being home? And I thought, you know, maybe I'll just have to risk doing this while he's asleep. And I thought, I, I could be sneaky enough. I'm sure I can pull this off. If all else fails, I'll try and get him out of the house somehow. Luckily, I didn't have to try very hard because he actually had the wonderful opportunity to go. Now that this, if there are any younger kids watching this, plug your ears. <laughs> I'm about to spoil some things. Are they gone? Okay. So my husband had the wonderful opportunity to dress up as Santa Claus and help a friend out by sneaking into his house for his daughter and pretend to be Santa, eat their cookies, all that fun stuff. He had an amazing time. I have not seen him that happy in a very long time. It was so amazing. It was also great for me because he was out of the house for like an hour and a half because they, they lived pretty far away. Hallelujah, let's get that desk installed. <laughs> I got it put in and then got everything else installed. I mean, as you see, you, you see me putting this all together. Uh, relatively painless. So I was able to get some of the smaller pieces over first a few days before Christmas. As, as you saw, I just had them hidden in my craft room. I just threw a blanket and some fabric and stuff to hide the shape. Then I had the biggest piece still in my car. As soon as I was able to, I got everything inside, upstairs, installed, but I did it. And here we go. My husband's brand new Christmas gift. Last year, as if you've seen my other videos, you heard know I got our cat Leo, who was very curious about what I was doing. Same with Otter. So I won Christmas that year. He, he told me I won. This year, when he came home and he came upstairs and I told him his present was ready, he looked at me and said, gosh, dang it, you won Christmas again. <laughs> And it's just been amazing. He's loved it since. And I'm just so happy that this all came together. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I know it's a little bit different than what I usually do, but I really wanted to show off some of my uh, process here. It was, it was just fun putting this together. Really nice desk too. I mean, I, I like it a lot. I'll have some regular crafty things coming up in the next video. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful holiday season, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever it is you celebrate. I hope it was wonderful and I hope you all have a lovely rest of the year and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!